Hey guys, so we're going to learn about what the new Google Pixel 3 phone teaches us about software development. All right, let's lead in with the conclusion. Software development is mostly about small incremental improvements and changes that takes a piece of software from being not very effective, not very useful. You do 500, 1,000 little changes to it, and all of a sudden it becomes super useful. Lots of little changes, lots of back and forth. So with Studio Web 4, we are in the late beta stages. I have a few schools on there now and some students. And I'm going through it now with my lead developer and we're literally chasing down so far in the last two weeks, maybe 200 little things that had to be updated and fixed. Most of them were not bugs that really stopped the flow of the software. It's much more about just making it that much more usable, that much easier. And again, it's little tiny things. In psychology, they have this concept called cognitive load. Think cognition. Basically, your brain is constantly scanning the environment, mostly looking around, make sure nobody's trying to hurt you. It's looking for dangers. And whenever it sees something that's, or, or something it sees or hears or whatever, that's out of place, that's not normal, your brain decides, oh, what's going on there? Is that a threat? And it puts energy towards that. And whenever there's more and more things that are out of place, it puts more and more stress on your brain in terms of its devoted, devoting, diverting resources to figure out what each of these little things, whether they're a threat or not, what's it all about, do we need to care? When you look at a user interface for an application, there's something called user experience, UX, and I've been stressing to people that UX is such a huge thing now, it's so important. UX is so important. Any experienced developers, any experienced companies know that which oftentimes what separates the successful software from the not so successful is the user experience, how easy it is to use. I've talked about this before. So in Studio Web 4, we're in the late betas, as I just said, and I'm spending all my time working on the UX. A lot of it is UX. There's some functional issues as well, but our infrastructure is pretty much in place, what's in place. And so now we're going through it. And just in like by saying the last two weeks, I personally have identified 100 things maybe, 150 little things that had to be fixed. Most of them are tiny little things that you wouldn't pay attention to. The wording, uh, the phrasing in, the, in, the, uh, in some of the buttons and the menu items, how the menus respond, what event types do the menus respond to, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, each of these little things in of themselves are no big deal. But the idea that I have, my theory, is that if you have a hundred little things, they add up to a big thing in terms of making your software very usable or very not very usable. It's like, think of it like a poke. If you have one poke, it's like whatever. But if you have hundreds of pokes or many pokes, it starts to become annoying. And it's like that with software as well. So when you're developing your websites, you're developing your uh, web apps or any apps, any type of software, where's a visual component, where's a component where your user is actually interacting with the software. You gotta try to reduce this cognitive load. You, you gotta try to reduce elements in, in what they see, in the experience. You wanna reduce any elements that force people to have to put a little bit more cognitive energy to decipher what's going on. Very important that you do that. And this is, again, an incremental process. Going back to the Pixel, their excellent camera performance has much more to do with a whole bunch of minor incremental changes uh, that they make to the resulting photo through the use of AI and machine learning. So for example, they're able to produce much better looking images in low light because they're taking a whole bunch of images. You press the button once, but behind the scenes, Google's taking a whole bunch of images. It's shifting things around with the pixels and so on. And I'm not going to get the details here. And I don't know all the details, but the point is they're doing 100, no, 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 I'm going to just pick a number, they're doing 200 little things that they do. And then they take the best of all these, these things, combine them all together, and Bob's your uncle, you got this amazing photo, a much better photo than you would 
if you just did one foot, one shot. So again, it's incremental improvements. This is a universal principle, by the, by the way. It's a universal principle that applies to all aspects of life. When I was learning martial arts, the same thing. I was learning to box, same thing. It's little improvements in my boxing technique, little improvements, you know, not doing this, but doing this when I punch, you know, turning my hand over like this, as opposed to like, you know, doing this, that kind of stuff, all these little, tiny, little improvements, slowly, 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 I become a better and better and better boxer. Same thing with your software, you're gonna start improving your software, slowly, 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 a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit better, 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 and you get a much better result. You can think of that way, you can think of this, um, you can think of it as a strategy if you come across a situation in your app where you maybe have tens, tens of millions of records you gotta process. Maybe you have a huge amount of data you gotta process. And to do it through brute force, one shot type of thing, might not be the solution. It might be better off to break down this data set, this huge amount of records through a different process. There may be two, three steps that you do. For example, you know, I'll put a very simple example. Let's say you got 10 million records, you got to parse through. Well, one thing you do is you apply what they call an index on the table. So what that does, it causes your database to optimize uh, the, uh, the ability of the database software to actually find records in that table. You could also incrementally maybe improve the quality of the SQL code and the uh, SQL logic to better filter the data. So you may shave off 10% here, 20% here, 10% there, et cetera, et cetera. Another thing you could do is just change the business rules in terms of uh, how this data is managed and uh, how it's saved initially. So for example, Studio Web 4, we track everything the user does in the system that allows us to uh, provide a better experience. I'll leave it at that. So sometimes we aggregate this stuff. We don't keep all the incremental records. Sometimes we, you're going to have to aggregate these records and then throw, throw away the unessential stuff. And this helps with performance. Again, I'm talking at a very high level. I'm, I'm just trying to give you a conceptual understanding of how to look at software. Anyway, that's it. So Google, uh, Google's Pixel camera, mostly considered to be the best. They achieve those results mostly through... Uh, AI and incremental improvements to the photos through AI and different processes as opposed to trying to put on a better lens or a better sensor, which would be the uh, brute force way of looking at it. Anyway, I hope this makes sense. Bye-bye.